Did you know that Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer is more than just an iconic rock anthem? It's a deeply emotional story about resilience, hope, and determination. The song tells the story of Tommy and Gina, a young couple struggling to survive in tough times, but their love and commitment to each other keep them going. Tommy loses his job, and Gina works long hours as a waitress. But despite everything, they refuse to give up. This message of holding on even when you're halfway there resonated with millions, making it an anthem for anyone facing tough times. John Bon Jovi himself has said that the song became so powerful because it speaks to the strength of the human spirit, reminding us that no matter how hard life gets, with a little faith, we can make it through. It's this universal message of survival and perseverance that continues to make Living on a Prayer a timeless hit. Subscribe and share with those who love Bon Jovi. Did you know that Lose Yourself by Eminem was written while he was on the set of 8 Mile? Between filming scenes, Eminem would retreat to his trailer and scribble down lyrics on scraps of paper, capturing the gritty emotion of the character he played. This powerful anthem not only became a global sensation, but also made history as the first rap song to win an Academy Award for Best Original Song in 2003. The opening lines, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, have become iconic, symbolizing the tension and pressure of rising from adversity. Eminem crafted the song in a way that mirrors his own life story, one of struggle, perseverance, and ultimately seizing the moment. Surprisingly, it wasn't initially intended to be a chart topper, but it ended up staying at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for 12 consecutive weeks. It's an anthem for anyone chasing a dream, turning one chance into a lifetime of success. Subscribe and share with those who love Eminem. Marvin Gaye's I Heard It Through the Grapevine became a groundbreaking hit, but did you know that Gaye wasn't the first artist to record it? Smokey Robinson and Gladys Knight both recorded earlier versions, but it was Marvin's emotional, haunting rendition that made history. Released in 1968, Gay's version almost didn't make it on the album. Motown founder Barry Gordy initially didn't want it released as a single, thinking it was too somber for pop audiences. Yet, when it finally dropped, it topped the charts for seven weeks and became one of Motown's biggest hits ever. The song's theme of betrayal and heartbreak resonated deeply with audiences during the turbulent 1960s, mirroring the uncertainty of the times. Marvin Gaye's soulful, raw delivery elevated it from just another pop song to an anthem of suspicion and pain. Let us know if you know other facts. Subscribe and share with those who love Marvin Gaye. Did you know that Superstition by Stevie Wonder almost wasn't his hit? Stevie initially wrote the song for guitarist Jeff Beck as a thank you for collaborating with him. But after recording it, Wonder realized the immense potential of the track and decided to keep it for himself. The song's unforgettable groove is driven by Stevie's electrifying use of the clavinet, which gives it that iconic funky sound we can't resist. Released in 1972, Superstition exploded onto the charts, becoming a defining anthem of the 70s. Its lyrics deliver a powerful message about how superstitions and false beliefs can cloud our judgment and prevent us from seeing the truth. Even more incredible, Stevie was just 22 years old when he wrote, produced, and performed this masterpiece, proving his status as a musical genius. The track earned him a Grammy Award and remains a timeless symbol of innovation and soul. Subscribe and share with those who love Stevie Wonder. Sweet Child O' Mine by Guns N' Roses is more than just a rock anthem. It's a deeply emotional tribute to love and innocence. Axl Rose wrote the lyrics as an expression of pure admiration for his then-girlfriend, Erin Everly, capturing the beauty of seeing someone through the eyes of love. The song is filled with emotional imagery, like the famous line, Her hair reminds me of a warm, safe place, evoking a sense of comfort, safety, and nostalgia. It reflects the deep, almost childlike wonder of being in love, where everything feels fresh, new, and safe. That's what makes this song connect with so many people, beyond the guitar riffs and heavy drums. It's a perfect blend of love and vulnerability wrapped in powerful rock melodies. This song isn't just about passion, it's about finding that rare innocence in someone and holding on to it, something we all long for. Sweet Child O' Mine reminds us of the beauty in love's simplest, purest moments. Subscribe and share with those who love Guns N' Roses. Did you know that Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner wasn't written by anyone from Alabama? 
The song was actually a response to Neil Young's critical tracks about the South, Southern Man in Alabama. While some listeners took it as a defense of Southern pride, Leonard Skinner's intention was more complex. They were pushing back against generalizations about the region while acknowledging its flaws. Interestingly, Sweet Home Alabama has since become an anthem for the state, despite its deeper commentary. The catchy riff was crafted spontaneously in rehearsal, and when producer Al Cooper heard it, he immediately recognized its potential. Emotions run high with this track. It's not just a fun Southern anthem, but a cultural statement packed with defiance, pride, and a bit of irony. Do you know other facts? Please subscribe and share with those who love Leonard Skinner. Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, often hailed as one of the greatest rock songs ever, has a deeply emotional and philosophical meaning. Written by Robert Plant and Jimmy Page, the song explores themes of spiritual searching and the illusion of materialism. The famous opening line, there's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold and she's buying a stairway to heaven, hints at the emptiness of wealth and the yearning for something beyond. Musically, the song takes listeners on an emotional journey, starting with a calm acoustic intro and slowly building to an epic crescendo. Jimmy Page's legendary guitar solo is often considered one of the most powerful and emotional moments in rock history. Fans are moved by the growing intensity, which mirrors the personal and existential questions woven into the lyrics. Stairway to Heaven isn't just a rock anthem. It's a spiritual experience that resonates deeply with its audience, making them reflect on their own life's journey. Do you know other facts? Please subscribe and share with those who love Led Zeppelin. Paul Simon wrote The Sound of Silence during a time of introspection and uncertainty in the early 1960s. He was just 21 and living in Queens, New York when he penned the lyrics in the darkness of his bathroom. The song reflected his growing disillusionment with the world and the alienation he felt from society. Interestingly, the song's original version was acoustic, but when it failed commercially, producer Tom Wilson added electric instruments, turning it into the iconic version we know today. The sound of silence speaks to the loneliness of modern life and the inability of people to truly communicate with each other. Its haunting melody and poetic lyrics gave voice to the struggles of a generation. Simon himself has said the song is about the inability to love and the lack of real connection in an increasingly disconnected world. Let us know if you know other facts. Subscribe and share with those who love Simon and Garfunkel. Did you know that What's Going On by Marvin Gaye was inspired by the social upheaval of the 1960s and early 1970s? Originally, Gay was reluctant to release the song because he felt it was too political. But after witnessing police brutality against peaceful protesters, he felt compelled to share his message. The track features a smooth blend of jazz, soul, and R&B. And its lush instrumentation includes strings and background vocals from the Funk Brothers, the Motown house band. Interestingly, the song was rejected by Motown executives at first, who thought it was too unconventional. However, it went on to become one of Gay's most iconic songs and a timeless anthem for peace and social justice. The album of the same name, released in 1971, is often cited as one of the greatest albums in music history. Its themes of love, compassion, and understanding continue to resonate with listeners today. Subscribe and share with those who love Marvin Gaye.